Hi, this is Mrs. Nagayama, and this is a recording um, to help you with quiz 3.15. Please review sections 3.14 and 3.15 before taking this quiz. So the topics we're going to talk about today is about glucose. What is glucose? Who needs glucose? And how do organisms get energy from glucose? So let's start with what is glucose. So glucose is a type of sugar. We talked about this previously. Sugar is a type of carbohydrate. So glucose is a type of carbohydrate. Plants make glucose using energy from the sun, which we call photosynthesis. So you see the sunlight energy is going into the plants. The plants use that energy um, and they produce glucose. Who needs glucose? 99.9% .9 of organism or living things need glucose to survive. So that includes bacteria, plants, and animals. Plants can make their own glucose through photosynthesis, but bacteria and animals need to eat other living things to get glucose. So again, plants can make their own because they can go through photosynthesis, but bacteria and animals need to eat other things so that they can get glucose from them. So what statement best describes how a tree and a mouse get the glucose they need as a source of energy? A, a tree makes glucose using the sun's energy and a mouse gets glucose by eating other living things. B, both a tree and a mouse use the sun's energy directly to produce glucose. C, both a tree and a mouse get glucose indirectly from other living things. Or D, both a tree and a mouse convert ATP into glucose. So remember, we said that plants can make their own glucose, but bacteria and animals, which would include a mouse, would need to eat other living things to get glucose. So the best answer for this one would be A, a tree makes glucose using the sun's energy, and a mouse gets glucose by eating other living things. Now our last question, how do organisms use this glucose? So organisms cannot use glucose directly as an energy source. When glucose enters our body, um, we can't just use it immediately as our energy source. We actually have to take that glucose and transfer that energy to ATP. So again, we cannot use glucose, but we can take the energy from glucose and transfer it to ATP. ATP is an energy molecule that we can use for energy. So here's the sample question. To use energy in glucose molecules, what must happen to, in, to glucose in all living things? A, it must be formed into more complex sugars. B, it must be used to make heat. C, its energy must be transferred to molecules of ATP. Or D, it must be excreted from the organism cell. So in the previous slide, we saw that organisms have to take the energy from the glucose molecule and transfer it to ATP. So we're taking energy from glucose, turning it into ATP, and then we use the energy in ATP in order to um, fuel a lot of the things that go in our body. So the best answer for this one would be C, its energy must be transferred to molecules of ATP. All right, so that concludes our review. Um, for quiz 3.15, if you have any questions or if you want any more resources, please email me and I'll be more than happy to help you. Again, don't forget to take the quiz as many times as you need to until you reach a 60%, which is a passing grade in this class.